How's it going, people? I'm house sitting my stepbrother's place in Minnesota. And I can't resist another opportunity to chip away at chapter one of this. So, top of page 25. The same is decided by Christ himself. In Revelation, um, after the sixth vial, in the drying up of the Turkish Euphrates, three unclear, unclean spirits of devils, like frogs, go forth to the kings of the earth, and of all the world. Sounds like the same thing to me. Um, to gather them to the great battle. The awful account is interrupted by this notice from the mouth of Christ. Uh, verse 15. Blacklist. Mm. <sighs> Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments, lest he walk naked and they see his shame. This is as though our Lord should say, Now the time is at hand, to which my predictions of coming as a thief principally alluded. Now is the time when my people on earth shall need to watch, as I directed when predicting my coming to destroy the first type of Antichrist. And secondly, the anti-type. The anti-type. The predictions in the prophets, which received an incipient fulfillment in the destruction of Jerusalem were to receive a more interesting fulfillment in Christ's coming <clears throat> to destroy his anti-Christian foes. Hence, it is that the seventh vial is called the battle of that great day of God Almighty clearly alluding to that great day noted through the prophets and of the same event is said in Revelation 10-7 the mystery of God shall be finished as he hath declared to his servants the prophets. Here again the illusion clearly is that the many predictions in the prophets of the destruction of the enemies of Christ's kingdom which were to receive an incipient, incipient fulfillment in the destruction of Jerusalem and a far more, far more interesting one in the sweeping from the earth the last anti-Christian powers. 
to introduce the millennial kingdom of Christ. We accordingly find those predictions through the prophets clearly alluding to the last days and the introduction of the millennium. Viewing the destruction of Jerusalem then as but a type of an event now pending upon anti-Christian nations, we uh, produce it with new interest and it must be viewed in the light of a most impressive warning to this age of the world. That's what, 1823? The factions, madness, and self-ruin of the former give but a lively practice uh, comment upon the various predictions of the latter. Three great and noted factions introduced the destruction of Jerusalem and of the destruction of Antichrist. We read, perhaps alluding to that very circumstance, <clears throat> and the great city was divided into three parts. That's probably what they meant. Then it follows, and the cities of the nations fell, and great Babylon came in remembrance before God to give unto her the cup of wine of the fierceness of his wrath in the desolation of Gog and his hands and his bands faction draws the sword of extermination I will call for a sword against him throughout all my mountains saith the Lord God every man's sword shall be against his brother according to Ezekiel that time the great coalition against the Jews in the time of Jehoshaphat was destroyed by the sword of mutiny and faction. See Second uh, Chronicles 20. And in allusion to this very battle which God fought for his church. the vast coalition of Antichrist in the last days when the Jews are restored is said to be gathered to the valley of Jehoshaphat see Joel um, the various circumstances of the destruction of Jerusalem afforded a lively, incipient uh, comment on the many denunciations of the battle of that great day, great day of God Almighty, which awaits the anti-Christian world. While it is fully evident that the passages more especially allude to the tremendous scene of judgment which shall introduce the millennium. End of chapter 1. Comments, anyone? Uh, let me know what you think. I'll keep reading. Um, chapter 1. 
glad it's beyond me. It's going to get interesting after this. can only get better, right? Stay tuned. I may wait till I'm back in California to read chapter two. I don't know. No plans. Peace the fuck out. Have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having. I'm having a wonderful one myself.